Hello, everybody. This is Ian, publisher of Dropbox in 30 Minutes, available from the In 30 Minutes Cheat Sheet store. Today, I'll be talking about selective sync in Dropbox for Windows. If you could take a moment to follow my channel or like the video, I would greatly appreciate it. And this is for the Windows edition of Dropbox, the Dropbox desktop app. And here's what I want to do. I have a uh, Dropbox account. This is my my business subfolder. And there's a, there's a folder missing. It's called Cheat Sheets. And I basically want to make sure that Cheat Sheets, the folder, which is stored in my Dropbox account, syncs to my Windows PC. I'm not seeing it right here. So what I need to do is I need to set up Selective Sync. And this is how to do it. So first of all, uh, go to your Windows taskbar. Look for this icon here. It looks like a little Dropbox uh, symbol. If you don't see it, go to Search and then Search for Dropbox. But I'm just going to press this. And this will hopefully open up the Windows desktop app. OK, uh, sometimes you'll see this appear in the right side of the screen, but I've also noticed that sometimes it appears on the left side of the screen. Regardless, what you want to do is click on your account picture um, and select the drop down menu next to it and go to preferences. And then this thing will open up. What you want is sync. So click on sync. There's all kinds of kind of confusing things going on here, but what we're interested in is selective sync. And the story is here. I have a huge Dropbox account. It's actually bigger than the amount of storage space on my Windows PC. So what I do is I selectively uh, choose what folders get synced to my PC from my main Dropbox account in the cloud. So I'm going to check it out right now. And it says unselect folders you don't want to see on this PC. So you can see I have a ton of folders here. This is at the very top level, and I'm actually going down to a sub-level folder. And here it is, Cheat Sheets. This is the one that I want. Now, what, what will happen is I'm going to select it. That means it will sync the whole thing in all of the subfolders within that. If I want to, I can deselect some of them. So like, let's say I don't need these Excel 2019 Cheat Sheets, um, and I don't need the Word 2019. 19 cheat sheets. So I'm going to deselect them, meaning they will not sync to my hard drive. And let's just click update. So unselected folders will be hidden from Dropbox on this PC. You'll still be able to access them on dropbox.com and other devices. So that's the idea. It's stored in the cloud. So there will always be there. But on the PC and some of my other devices, I'm only partially syncing them. So right now what's going to happen is I'm going to click apply. And I can I can hear I can hear the hard drive actually making sound. So let's actually go to the. Yep, here it is. So this is the one that I just started to sync, and it might still be syncing a little bit because there's a lot of subfolders within there. But just browsing through there, I can see it has synced the ones that I'm interested in. If this this is Ian Lamont, author of Dropbox in 30 Minutes, signing off. If this video helped you, please take a moment to like it or follow me on YouTube, and you can see more of my videos and blog posts on in30minutes.com or cheatsheets.store. Thanks for watching.